the farm to late game strategy is not as successful. You're about to see the team comms flash over. You guys at home, hit us up on Twitter, at LOL Esports. Hashtag Elwin. Force him away. That's all they're doing here. Now they're going to get some damage on the tower. Wicked won't be able to TP back in time, but Shook in classic Nuno style has been able to solo the dragon, seeing as Lolex was on the top side. So well played by Elements to get themselves an early dragon kill. And yes, H2K invested an additional summoner spell in that. Lulix has now shown himself, oh, well, except because he's now in the bottom lane. So if Shook goes in, he can go home the wrong for Elements. Remember, there is a Requiem to follow this up. There's a teleport coming down from Wicked. Elements have initiated. The Requiem gets first blood. Lulex was in retreat and what was a four themselves up to break it tomorrow. Intel Extreme Masters had all of the underdogs winning. MYM picked up a win earlier. And Elements are starting off strong. Let's remember that, oh, let's just look at Shook first. I think Shook might die here. Ryu seems to be jumping on Ignite, will pick up the kill. Flash away so, to safety though. The ball in terms of H2K and the way they want to play this mid game. Well, uh, look at the way they've grouped up in middle. Ryu's found Frog and he's jumped onto him, decides to jump away. Kasing connects with the death sentence, follows up. Ryu jumps in and it's a last hit from Hyanin. May set them up for another tower. Kasing drawing attention from Wicked, gets dropped by the Super Mega Death Rocket. Lulex solos the Dragon and will keep track on their hit points in the middle lane. H2K, 600 gold lead, first Dragon on the board. First Dragon, yeah, we still, we see the play here. It's all about early towers. And they want it. We do see Ryu, Lulex, Odo one they're moving in. Lulex flashed for that, got the Chilling Smite down. The Zap comes up from Reckless. He's going to be the sacrificial lamb as H2K pick up another kill. So that was just a very easy kill to pick up and now set up for this Dragon here. Rio is in the bush, he's gonna try and assassinate Crepo. Well, Crepo's going down here, does get dropped by Ryu. Some assist kill from Kasing with 15 seconds around objectives where you know the enemy team is gonna walk in and just destroy them if they face check you. Well, we are 19 minutes, 20 on the clock. Ryu finds Shook to get some damage. On the tower, but we might see a fight here. Lulix has no flash to engage. Kasing going in. Well, he we got see. Reckless. They call Reckless. Can he get taken out? Ryu is trying to find a target from the side. Reckless is still alive on the back line as Ryu forced to go back to a clone. Kasing is the first one to drop us. The tower takes out Froggen. But the Requiem two. should get more. That's a triple kill for the king of mids in Europe. Elements go one. Item differences. Death cap completed for Froggen. He's got nearly 500 AP. We do see the Thorn Mail for Odo Wamne. Some armor and MR in Wicked's hands. Dragon secured, uncontested, as H2K do not opt. And it looks like H2K have given yeah. this one up. Again, as soon as elements, elements get to go into that Dragon, H2K has to give it up completely. Unless they assassinate them on the way, you have to give it up. This Baron has been started. Odo Wamne does have teleport available, and it looks like Ryu has got himself in position. Kasing eats a lay waste. Froggen, they want to chase. That's a defensive flash from H2K. We do see the Prey Seeker going up. Box oh, has teleport. already been used. Teleport coming down, follows up from the wreck. Oh, yeah, the one. Mega Death Rocket gets one. Kasing is down. H2K now with a full defensive play. No mana on Hyanin. Mega Nars close for Odo Omne, but I think Wicked will be in place. He is with the rest of the team at the moment. H2K on full defensive. Froggen is going low. Odo Omne is about to go Mega Nars, but I don't think he'll have his ulti up. Exhaust comes out, and Hyanin is trying to dodge the lay waste. Baron goes to Elements. Reckless is chasing Hyanin. Oh, Look whoa, for the whoa, tap. Whoa, whoa. Defensive flash. Oh. Hyanin dodges. The end of the day, it's a one for two, a Baron and a defense. Make it a three Elements for one. Elements are not done. Odo Omne is going down, and Deficio Elements look to unsettle the eight-game winning streak from H2K. And they can use those charges to get even more jungle wards. Reckless, two, three, four, five auto attacks on the inhibitor. Continues to look for it. It's down. With the get excited, going to move bottom. Elements may not even need the minions to take the tower, but it will. Order for H2K. They want to try and stop the dragon. Oh, they're going to face so check. Scary. Oh, scary. Death sentence connects, but what can H2K do? Wicked's gone in. There's five members on top of each other. The Mega Nar throws everyone backwards. Odo Omnis wreaking havoc. Froggen's down, but here comes Requiem. Let's see if Yarnin can survive. I don't know if he can. He's been shut down by Froggen. Reckless is running rampant. Ryu gets Reckless. Odo Omnis down in reply. Krepo shook and Wicked looking to clean house as Kasing is in full retreat. It is a two for four.
much. As long as elements again can see where HK are, they can move forward. Ryu is trying to come in behind. Look at the minimap here. He's on the other side of the dragon. Let's engage. Well, let's see. Ryu is instantly exhausted. He's pulled Wicked all the oh, way over. Got him. Super That's Mega it. Death Rocket it. gets one. Without the damage from Ryu, this should be a convincing win on the team fight for elements. 5v4. They've turned away. They've pulled Mill and they get bottom to push as well. Such a good setup again from Elements. They slowly move forward. They need all the information. You saw Ryu jump in. You saw Wigan say, point and click on you. I'm going to follow you. Rocket from Reckless. That's Inhibitor. Well, Inhibitor secured Elements. They've set their sights on more. This minion's still pushing in with them. They're onto the Nexus turret. Requiem is being channeled now from Froggen. Oh, That's going to delay the recalls of Hyanan and Kasing. Nexus turret is down. The second one's about to fall. Elements are unseating H2K, dropping their eight-game winning streak and keeping their playoff hopes alive. Massive, massive smiles. Maybe sighs of relief a little bit on the Elements side. Oh, for side. sure. For sure. Again, we talked about how last week they looked better. They just couldn't close out the games against Copenhagen Wolves and the Unicorns. And they lost two very important ones in the race of playoffs. But now, early game was set up to Simri for them. Well, now, five all the fans here. But by them surviving that early game and having such a good late game comp and playing around Vision so well, they fully deserve this win. Excellently played. Absolutely excellently sure. played. H2K did everything they could, and it resulted in some outer towers and the odd kill here or there, but it never gave H2K control of the game. It never gave H2K... Actually, hold on a sec, hold on a sec. At 19 minutes, H2K were 2,000 gold up. One bad team fight in the middle lane, and then losing two towers. That was it. At 20 minutes, they were 500 gold down. Yeah, that is the key one. Because that one team fight, if you guys remember, no flash for Lulix, so he couldn't do anything on Rek'Sai. No Mega and Arf Oduami, so he couldn't do anything. It was Kasing flashing in, starting the fight, but there was no follow-up. So Reckless was standing in the back line, Froggen went into the middle of the team, they got to clean it up, and that was really the big point for Elements, where you've now prevented falling behind when the team was stronger in the mid-game.